Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 30th of September to the 6th of October 2019 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Hope you are Sagittarius. Now just to let you know my voice isn't 100% yet, it's still healing, um, I have been unwell so but I really want to get the weeklies out as much as I can, so let's crack on. We have five cards at the top, all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. The past, the present, challenges, advice from tarot and outcome. I've got an angel oracle card and also an overarching tarot card as well. So let's start with this, actually. The card that you've got is victory. This is the six of wands. This is overcoming challenge to... Get to that level playing field, but also to understand your own power. Some of you are, are beginning to realize what you're capable of, understanding that you do have the power to overcome challenges and put things behind you and move on now. There's a kind of release with the, the Six of Wands and also a realization because while they're being tested, while they've been challenged and they've overcome it, they've claimed a victory. That's when they're beginning to learn really what they're capable of as well. Beautiful. And we have surrender and release. Yeah, we do have judgment here. And there is a kind of release in your challenge position. The six of swords is a card of shifts, positive shifts. So there's an element of letting go of things that might be keeping you stuck in order to move forward as well. Surrender the old to embrace the new. And you do have the new here in this. By goodness, you do. We have the magician and the fool in this reading. So, powerful message. Let's start with the past position. Now, invariably, I put these cards in categories. Some of you will be at different life stages, so it's the energies that matter. Page of Wands and the six, sorry, the Seven of Swords. Some of you have been challenged, maybe deception in your external life. This can be lack of truth, underhanded dealings, things, um, sometimes realizing that people's motivations are less positive than you realized, you know? And there's a kind of an underhandedness about the Seven of Swords because someone's stealing away the truth. The swords stand, the swords stand for truth. This can also be about deception, self sabotage. Really looking at areas where you might have self-sabotaged in the past. But I feel now, if you have self-sabotaged, this is that point when you're beginning to look forward, where you're beginning to realize your own potential. The page of wands can be a message of an opportunity as well. It can be to do with business and finances, sorry, business and career, which can link to, to success. Um, because there's, there's um, little leaves sprouting from the wands. The ones can also be linked to your passions and desires. The ones also talk about your own power. Like I said, I feel certainly with that six of ones energy. Some of you have been realizing your own power to deal with the situation, either internally or in your external life. And some of you are now standing on your own two feet, ready to move on, ready to embrace new opportunity, new passions, new desires. But there's a real kind of like forward momentum when the page of wands comes. It's the very beginnings of taking that step forward. And, I mean, look at these. These two go hand in hand. You have naught. The fool is unnumbered because the fool, the fool's message above anything is anything is possible. And when the magician appears, which is number one, that first step, to bring in about your hopes, dreams into reality, the first step on the transformation journey. He says, believe, once you believe that the impossible is possible, that's when you start realizing that that is, that is true. The fool represents taking a leap of faith, going your own way, having faith in your own capabilities in what you want to do now. Remember, this is a card of Uranus, Rev a rebel energy, but very revolutionary as well. So the fool is not meek and mild. He is somebody who is committed, who, who trusts that when he takes those first steps to bring about positive change in his life, that will happen. 
because there's blind faith here. Powerful new beginning. And then we have the magician, and the magician is <clears throat> that sign that when you really believe from within that you can transform your situation for the better, you have all the skills and experience you need as represented by the things on that table. Pentacles, the cups, the sword, the wand, your practical skills, your knowledge and experience. And then you also realize that not only is divine energy around you, but within you. That's when you work your magic. That's when you realize that things can change. When you take that leap of faith, when you trust in yourself, in your own abilities, that's when the magic starts to happen. The magician is a sign of showing the world what you're made of. If you have had deception in your, ex you know, previously, deception in your external world, this is that beginning of the journey to show those people or that person what you're really capable of. It feels very much like a comeback energy as well for some of you. So beautiful energies. <clears throat> so in the challenge position, we have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> so you've been challenged, Sagittarius. The Seven of Wands is about challenge. But you see, this person isn't giving up because where they're heading is out of choppy waters into calmer waters. They're restoring their balance and equilibrium in their life and they've got a shift. They're understanding where they're transitioning to. That first step with the magician and the fool is leading to positive shifts. And I feel for some of you, it starts from within. It starts from you believing in your own power. Whether it's in career, whether it's in relationships, whether it's with family troubles, you have an opportunity to move away from the things that have been troubling. I mean, that's what the, the Six of Wands is saying as well. Into calmer waters. This may be relocation, could be for a career, could, could be for a job. Um, this could be also moving property as well. This could also be traveling, maybe for job or whatever. And there's more travel. But either way, and um, there's real positivity here. <clears throat> Just one second. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Two of Cups and we have Judgment. I feel some of you are making peace with the situation that's happened. Sometimes this can be an offer of love. Two of Cups can sometimes be an invitation or an offer of some kind as well. But it can also be a reconciliation card where you're making peace with somebody else or you're finding peace within, coming back to you in some way. Restoring balance, the twos can be about balance as well. Because I think some of you are, are realizing that you need to let go. And you're also waking up to the possibility that you are ready to embrace the new. Judgment is an awakening. Awakening to your path. Releasing the old. Letting go. Forgive where you can forgive. And let go of anything that's holding you back. Make peace with the situation. And I feel that's what angel spirits guides are asking you to do now. So, powerful message, Sagittarius. And we have the Hermit, Queen of Wands. Let's just start with those two, shall we? The Hermit is healing from within. It's shining a light on situations that need to heal, where you need to find acceptance to find a way forward from within. <clears throat> this is seeing the light at the end of the tunnel from within, putting an end to a situation that could have kept you stuck. And as soon as you do, that's when you start making calculated choices, decisions, start taking the reins of your own life and acknowledging your own power in your external world. That is the Queen of Wands energy. <clears throat> There's an element of playing to your strengths with the Queen of Wands, know your strength, as she does. She's very self-aware of her capabilities. 
there could be an Aries as well offering you a job opportunity, advancement in career, business partnership, or something linked to your passions and desires. But either way, that sunflower represents abundance. Now, the Queen of Wands, especially with that cat, is instinctive and is about trusting your instincts to make calculated choices now in your life. There is something about timing, and I always feel it with the Queen of Wands. She's very calculated. She will act very much like a cat at the right time to get the greatest reward. So for any of you undergoing deception or any... I'm just looking at that Seven of Swords. Any shady dealings or any shady people in your life? Don't wear your heart on your sleeve necessarily. This is about acting at the right time, in the right place, in the right manner, for the greatest reward. But there is certainly opportunity as well being offered to you here. So, powerful message. And I just feel there is something about doing a job that you love that will give you a great reward. That could be the Queen of Wands energy. Um, <clears throat> this is very much about getting financial rewards, something that you deserve, but also getting your self-value back as well, your self-esteem, Sagittarius. So powerful message, powerful message. But yeah, this is so positive. And um, because this person channels, they chisel their star on that pentacle. And then and they're not only changing their material success to be more promising. But they're also changing their energy because it is a card of Virgo. And it's their internal energy. They're getting the self-worth back. So beautiful message. And being valued by other people. I will say there's value, recognition by other people as well. So that could be a new job opportunity, something linked to your passions and desires. Could be something to do with an Aries as well. But either way... There is a wonderful promise of victory here. Coming through, coming through challenging times and being the victor. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm sorry about my voice, but I, I really wanted to still get the readings out as much as possible. I, if you can like, share and subscribe, I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.